today's video. Today I'm going to solve the problem that is C++ program to check whether a number is prime or not. For this solving of the problem, we need to know two things that is the factor and what is factor and what is prime number. So first, when we see that C++ program to find the factors of a number. What is a factor? Factor means that suppose 4. 4, what are the factors of 4? 1, comma, 2, comma, 4. So, when I divide 4 by 1, I get remainder 0. I When I divide 4 by 2, I get remainder 0. When I divide 4 by 4, I get remainder 0. That means that uh, this approach I need to solve through programming. Now, what I will do, that is, here I can see that it is starting from 1 and ending till the number. So, suppose the number is 6, it will start from 1 to 6. Suppose if the number is 8, it will start from 1 till the given number 8. Now, what I can do that, I will increase 1, that is 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. Okay. Now, what I, next I will divide this number by 6. Suppose 6 by 1, it gives remainder 0. It gives remainder 0, it is a prime number, uh, sorry, factor. Then I will divide 6 by 2, it gives remainder 0, it is a factor. 6 by 3, it gives remainder 0, it is a factor. Then I divide 6 by 4, it does not give 0, so it is not a factor. Then I will divide 6 by 5, not equal to 0, the remainder. Then it is not a factor. Then 6 by 6, it is equal to 0, it is a factor. In similar way, I will start 1, then I will increase it. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, then I will divide it. For increasing the numbers, or I will start an iterative sequence that is using the for loop, or I can do it with the while loop also. But I am showing with the for loop, that is, I will start with for loop, that is, integer i, that is, start from 1. go till the number that is n suppose n is the number n is input given as an input then increase it by 1 y plus plus i will find it then i will start the loop inside okay and at inside what i will do that if I will start giving an if sequence that if suppose the number n this is modulus that means 6 if I give this modulus side to 2 it will give remainder 0 it takes the remainder okay remainder remember this so if n percent is i sorry n modulus i is equal to equal to 0 then i can say that it is a factor then i can write count i count i okay so it will give suppose i is 1 and suppose n i take 4 suppose the value of n is 4 then what will happen first it will 1 4 percent is 1 sorry for modulus 1 it gives 0 so it will display 4 oh, sorry 1 it will display 1 next 4 modulus 2 i will be increased it will display 0 remainder it will give 2 4 percent 3 not equal to 0 it will display nothing 4 percent 4 sorry 4 modulus 4 it will give 0 
it will display four and it will display one two four and then this less than equal to n so four four then it will stop the loop so i will get that these are the prime sorry factors okay now i will show it in visual studio code okay now i come to visual studio code i write factors to the visual studio code i will write the same thing is i will first take an integer n and i will take an input on the user by telling enter any number then i will take the input by sin c in operator then i will start the for loop in the for loop what i will say integer i that will start from one i will end till the given number and i will increment i by plus one then what i will do i will check if the number modulus operator by i gives remainder zero then i will what print that number i and end means new line okay then i will what i will do save it run it after running find enter any number i say four so that is a one to four after that i will enter i will write eight so that is a one to four eight all right 98 let's see the factor 1 2 7 14 49 98 these are the factors okay now coming to the main thing that is check whether a number is prime or not we know that what is a prime number prime number means what prime number means what that is it will contains only two factors so it will contain two factors that is one and itself it will contain two factor that is one and itself and now what i will do is that prime number i will see the factors now if i see here the factors i will find that if i know how many factors the number has then i will get whether it's a prime number or not that means a number is we have factor suppose four four may three factor hai, ek, do, char, three factors i will say this is not a prime number because prime number hone ke liye do hi factor chahiye. I will take 6. It will have more than 1, 2, 3, 6. That's 4 factors. So it is not a prime number. When I take 5, I will find the factors. 1 and 5. It has 2 factors only. So it's a prime number. Then I can say if a number contains only 2 factors, then it's a prime number. If it has more than two factors, then it's a composite number. I can see. So what I will do here is that I will same again start a for loop. I will state the integer i is equal to one. I will end up till n and I will increment i by one. Same thing. I will Try to find out the factor. Okay. Now what I do is the same thing. I will find out the factors. That is I divide in modulus. I gives 0. Then it's a factor. Then I will do what? I will count that. For that I will initialize a integer before the for loop that is count c o u n t i will initialize to it zero i will do what if it's a factor then i will increase that count count plus plus 
okay before what i am doing that i am printing the factors now i am counting the factors by count count is that is initialized to zero then at the end i will say that if count is equal to equal to two if the, there are only two factors then it's a prime number then count prime else no okay then count prime else it is no okay so i'm not writing the total thing so here same thing find out the factors i will not print the factors i will only count it here okay now i come to the visual studio code that is same thing i will here written i will initialize a count that will help me to count and it will take that to zero what i will do here i will not print i will increment the count by plus plus at the end what i will do if there are two factors that is if count is equal to two then it's a prime number then prime number else it's not in prime number okay now i will run this do what enter a number suppose four it's not an a prime number i am finding here again i will write 16 it is not an a prime number again i am finding here if i write a prime number that is five it's a prime number here you can see if i write 97 i think it's a prime number okay so what i've done same thing same finding the factors we i am not writing here the count c o c out factor that is i'm not printing the factors i'm only counting that factors after that count is equal to two if the, there are two factors prime number that's it not an prime number oh c plus plus program to print prime numbers in a given range suppose user tell me to find prime numbers between uh, 5 to 37 tell me to find between this range so i will do the same thing that is that i've done here but i will here do two loops that is one loop and second loop the first loop will give me the numbers and the numbers and the second loop will give me the numbers that we need to divide that is i'm telling suppose first loop will give me five and the second loop will give me one two three four up till five then i will divide that find the factors if the factors is two uh, there are two factors then it's a prime number then it's not then again the five will increment to six here then again find one two three four five six again we will divide find the how many factors if the factors are two then it's a prime number then it's a not so the there are two loops one loop will give me the exact number and another loop will give me the number that we need to divide and find the factors okay and the same method that is if the find, finding the factors i will find the factors after that count it i will count it then after counting i will see if the count is equal to equal to two then it's a prime number print it okay same approach but two loops i will use here one is for getting the number and another is for dividing okay so i come to the visual studio code i will delete it I will delete the things then I will do what suppose I will tell the range that is integer x comma y I will tell the user to enter 
into the rails. That is sin C operator. Then I will x y. After that, I will start a loop. It is for integer i is equal to one. I is less than or equal to what x. I will find the range that is sorry if I, it's less than or equal to y. And i plus plus I will increment. Okay. Now I will not write here i is equal to one because the first range is from x to y. I need to find from x to y. So i is equal to x. It will end up till y. And I will increment it. Then I will get another loop that is for integer z is equal to what? I will start from one till the number one. It's j less than or equal to i. It means i that is we need to find. Suppose i is two, then I will find one two. I is six. One two three four five six. So one two. Till that number, so I write here i. After that, j I will increment j. Then the same thing I will do. If i is the number, I need to divide by j. Gives me zero. Then I will initialize count. That is, I will increment it. Now I need to initialize count. I will initialize it. Integer count is equal to equal to zero. Sorry, is equal to zero, and I will increase increment the count. One important thing you have to remember that I need to initialize this count inside the for loop only. If I not initialize the inside the for loop, then it the uh, the program will not work. If I suppose initialize it here outside, then the function will not work. So I need to initialize inside. For loop only. After that, I will go from the for loop. Then I will find if count is equal to equal to one, then count i. Sorry, not count is two or two factors. Then I will count i. So this is the program. Simple. I will start from x until y. Increment the value of x. I will start j from one to the given number. Given number is here i. I will increment i percent i modulus j that is zero. Then I will count the factors. After counting the factors, I will go from that for loop and we will enter the last for loop that is the for integer i is equal to x. Then I will if count is two, then I will display that number. Okay, so very easy problem. I will run it. Suppose I enter the range from two to fifteen. I see here two, three, five, seven, eleven, thirteen. If I give it end, it will be very easy to recognize the numbers. I give suppose thirteen to sixty-seven. I write here. See, thirteen, seventeen, nineteen, twenty-three, sixty-seven. So very easy. Okay. Suppose I give from one. So one is neither prime nor composite. I need to find that. Suppose one. To ten, okay. uh, one is neither prime plus one, so it will not display one. See, it will display from two, two, three, five, seven. Okay, simple. Take the same concept, but using two loops. One will give the number, one another will give the number to divide. Then I will display it. Okay, I think that you have liked the video, and I will post another problem. You see the approach of that problem, other problem. If any doubt. Then you can comment me in the comment section. I will try to reply as soon as possible. Thank you for watching my video.